Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to solve the 2021 AMD 10B problem number 19, and it was also the 12B number 12. Suppose that S is a finite set of integers, positive integers. Remember, important of these keywords here. If the greatest integer of S is removed from S, then the average of the remaining integers is 32. But if the least integer is removed, the average is now of the remaining integers is 35. So interesting, the greatest integer is returned to the set. Now the average value rises to 40 because it's just all over the place. And we're saying that the greatest integer in the original set is 72 greater than the least integer. Okay, so let's first count. How many pieces of information do we know? We know the greatest integer is removed, it's 32. So we got one equation there. The least integer is removed, we have, we have remaining is 35. The greatest integer is returned, 40. And the greatest integer is 72 greater than the least integer. So it seems like we've got four equations here, or like four pieces of information that we can convert to an equation. So that means we, we want to find four variables so that we can solve our system of equations. What variables can we actually use? Well, we cannot let a variable to be every value in our arithmetic sequence. Because first of all, we don't know how many values we have. Second of all, it's not needed. We don't care about the middle values. We really, it seems like in this problem, we care. We really only care about the least integer, let's call it L, the greatest integer, let's call it G, and the average. An average is sum divided by number. So let's say that there's n terms in our arithmetic sequence. These linear problems, they're typically just, you have to set up your systems of equations and evaluate it. And these long word problems, typically it's about choosing the right variables. That's the main hard part of the problem. After you got the equation, I'm sure it's not that hard to solve. So we've got n terms, least and greatest term, sorry, least and greatest term too. And we see that there's n terms and we know the, the arithmetic mean. So that means you have to also have information about the sum. So let's also define one more, the fourth variable, to be the sum of the middle terms. So let's say that this is called s. So you've got four variables, and now by a problem we have four statements that we can convert to an equation. So now what can we do? We just need to solve our systems of four equations. But even then, the work is not done. We've only just begun. So the greatest integer in s is removed from s. So let's say that if you remove the greatest integer, the arithmetic mean of the remaining integers is just going to be equal to 32. But if the least integer is removed, then the average is going to be 35. Okay, so let's just let's just break this down. One same at a time. So the greatest integer is removed, the average is 32. How can we use our four variables and express that in an equation? If the greatest integer is removed, then we see that, okay, the sum of the remaining integers is just going to be s plus l. And then the average, we're saying the average is going to be 32. So s plus l divided by n minus 1 will be 32. Okay, so that's one equation down. Three to go. Okay, next thing. Next next time, we basically remove the least integer 2. So if we remove the least integer 2, now we're just left with s. And we're saying the s over the arithmetic mean of these integers in the middle, these arithmetic mean of these n minus 2 integers, since there's one integer here, one integer here. So the sum, these integers here, are there's n minus 2 of these integers, n minus 2 of them. So we can see that there's going to be s over n minus 2 will just be equal to 35. Okay, now we've got two down. Okay, let's look at our other conditions. What else do we know? Well, the third equation is that we have, now we're saying that we put the greatest integer back into the set. So we've got a sum of s. Now we're adding the greatest integer back. So now we've got s plus g. And now how many terms are there going to be? There's going to be, again, n minus one terms, since it's going to be n minus two terms plus the greatest term. So n minus one total terms. S plus G over N minus one total terms will just be equal to 40. So now what can we do? We've got three nice equations here. We, what we can do is pretty obvious. We want to cross multiply and get rid of the denominators because denominators are not very helpful for us. So now we've got S plus L equals 32 N minus 32. S equal to 35 N minus 70. S plus G equal to 40 N minus 40. Right? Because that's all good. So now what does it tell us about G and L in terms of N? So remember, we can actually subtract this equation, these two equations, and we get that G is equal to 40N minus 40 minus 35N minus 70, which is equal to 5N plus 30. Okay? That's good. And then we also know that L, S plus L minus S is going to be equal to 38 minus 3N. So L is 
38 minus 3n. And we've still got one equation we haven't used yet. We haven't used the equation that the greatest integer is 72 greater than the least integer, meaning that we have 5n plus 30 is 72 bigger, so equal to 72 plus 38 minus 3n. And then from here, we can expand that. We get 5n plus 30 will just be equal to 72 plus 38 is 110, so 110 minus 3n. And this gives us 80 equals a n, and from here we see that n is equal to 10. So that's really helpful here. So now let's substitute it back. We want to get all the variables. So let's get all the variables. So if n is 10, we can see that this will just be equal to 80. If n is 10, this will be equal to 8. So the least term is 8, the greatest term is 80. We're saying there's 10 of these terms. Let's also solve for s. We can see that s is 35n minus 70. So this is going to be equal to 280. Cool. We've got s, we've got all our variables. So now let's get our answer. What's the average value of all the integers? The average value of all the integers in the set is just going to be the total sum of the integers, which is s plus l plus g. So s plus l plus g over the number of integers, which is n. And from we can see that n, what is n? We found n to be equal to a 10. So it's going to be s is 280, l is 8, g is 80 over 10, which gives us that this is just going to be equal to 280 plus 80 is 360, 360 plus 8 is 368, and 368 divided by 10 is 36.8. And that is the answer for this problem. And remember, in order to avoid some silly mistakes, a good strategy is to plug it back in, make sure it actually works. Very good strategy, very easy to do, and very quick to implement. So there's no really reason not to do it. Let's quickly try. So what we're saying is that we've got 10 integers, least one is 8, greatest is 80, and these 8 integers in the middle that have a sum of 280, so each of them has an average of 35. And you're saying that, okay, if you remove the greatest integer from the set, we're left with we're left with 9 integers left, because which has a sum of 288, and an average of 288 divided by 9, which is equal to 32. Good. This first condition is satisfied. Now what is the second condition? If the least integer is also removed, we can see that now we just have 280 divided by 8, and 280 divided by 8 is just going to be equal to 35. Again, we're good. Last condition, if you move, if you add back the greatest integer, so we've got the 8 middle integers and the greatest integer, they have a sum of 360. 360 by my 9, 40, is that the average we're looking for in the problem? And yes, it is. So now we're pretty confident we're correct, and now we can circle the answer and move on with the rest of the test. Thank you all for watching, and basically the key idea was you want to set up a system of equations and use that system of equations and not always will you have to solve for each of the individual variables, keeping that in mind for future problems. In this case, we did, but you actually don't always need to solve for it. So always make sure to look for what you actually want to find and not just going on bashing for the variables. And thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in another video.